Wednesday fit check. Wrinkly shirt because I don't have an iron and sometimes I just don't unwrinkle. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm liking this fit, but I don't dislike it either. It's, it's just very basic. I feel like it needs like one more component, but I think like with the jacket on top, it'll be cute, right? Jacket and shoes always coming in clutch. I think it definitely looks better now. Okay, still like really wrinkly though, but I like it with the jacket. I think I just love this jacket personally, so I'm happy with it closed. <laughs> but yeah. I need new places to film, but that's hard to come across in this condo. Um, <laughs> and so here's my chocolate and my flowers that my love got for me. Um, and then today, Sarah messaged me. She wants to go out to eat somewhere. Well, not like go out to eat, but she just wants to pick up some food during her lunch break. So I am going to head out in a moment. I think we're grabbing some bubble tea and we were going to get Poke Bowl, but we can't order it for pickup. And I have like the 75% off coupon. Um, so it's really unfortunate that we can't use it on Poke Bowl. So we are going to figure something else out and I'm not sure what that something else is but I should probably head over now because her lunch break does not last forever and then after that I'm going to be studying which I'm not excited about but it is what it is so yes that is the plan Okay, where are we going for bubble tea? Uh, you hold this while I drive. Um, go go. Hold like this. Mm, just hold it how you normally. You go, you go point it yourself too. You can be included. Are you gonna edit it to look nice? Uh, sure. Okay, so we're driving right now to get bubble tea. Um, we're gonna go to Coco, and then. Sarah wants Subway, so we're gonna also pick up some Subway on the way back to using my coupon. I may or may not have made that really wobbly and off focus. All right, so we're going to Coco right now. We're at a red light um, and we're gonna get some bubble tea. Sarah told me to re-record this because she was shaking too much while I drive. She doesn't like my driving. I think I'm a great driver. Um, Sarah is the one who's not very good at driving. So, <laughs> ready for the roundabout, Sarah? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
fit check. Hair in a not really bun, but with a clip. Same outfit, different jacket. My mom gave me this. It's like super fuzzy on the inside. Kind of nice. And then the sneakers, the Nikes that my sister bought to me. Work is definitely a lazier look. This is my face without foundation. It's just very red. So my skincare products often focus a lot on redness, but um, whenever I'm lazy and don't wanna do like a bunch of makeup or want my skin to breathe a bit, I'll only do eye makeup and brows. I'm heading out right now. I'm heading out right now. Sarah and I are going to go get ice cream because we've both been having bad days. <sighs> I'm very frustrated, just like stuff with school and I feel very overwhelmed with a lot of shit. And I don't know. Um, <laughs> and so we're gonna go get some ice cream. I also need to run some errands. So we're gonna be doing that. I'm in the car waiting for Sarah. I texted her that I'm here as I was leaving. But guess who's still not here? Although with that said, I also told her like 30 minutes ago that I'll be leaving in 10 minutes. Um, so I'm like 20 minutes late, so I can't even complain <laughs> to be fair, but. So my hair looks really gross. There's like this thing with the hair where you're only supposed to wash your hair every like couple days like some some people go like once a week and i just look how gross it is and it's only been like a day and a half like i don't know people i just i don't understand how people go so long 
without washing their hair and their hair doesn't look disgusting like this like and this is with dry shampoo in it like clearly i need better dry shampoo but so far every single dry shampoo that i've tried does not work my oils are just too rich <laughs> i don't know <laughs> why would you call that that's that sounds gross we're gonna ignore this but yeah good evening it is Close to seven, six thirty-seven. I don't know. I'm too blind to see the clock. Hello. Good evening. I feel better after getting ice cream. So that's good. Um, and just like talking with my sister and talking with my friends and just letting it all out and having time to like cool off. Um, and so yeah, now I'm just at home chilling. For some reason, I just never want to sit on the couch. So I got the rug. It was just nice. But anyways, I feel better. But yeah, so it's been it's been rough. I'm doing my best to just figure out life. I'm sorry. I'm like moving all over the place. I'm restless right now. I <sighs> I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> but. I think I, I don't know, part of me is trying to get into the mindset, I'm gonna move again. Part of me is trying to get into the mindset that grapes don't matter as much as I like blow them up to be and I know that's true to an extent. I don't know, I guess little achievements like that just make me feel good. Um, but at the same time, the stress that it's causing me is just like, especially because it's so much group work and I feel as though I need to sacrifice sometimes my ideas because I'm not 100% sure if I'm doing it right. Um, and I won't know until I get my mark. And usually with individual assignments, I do really well because I only have myself to trust and blame. Whereas when it's a group assignment, um, even if I think I'm doing it right, I don't 100% know until the teacher confirms it, usually with our mark or if they're willing to tell us but that is very rare and so for the most part it's just like i this is what i strongly feel is right and if it's wrong i'm sorry <laughs> like that's all i could say is like i was wrong um and that's really difficult when someone else obviously like you don't want to be the reason why mistakes are happening when there's other people that it's costing as well <sighs> What am I talking about? This is going on for like five minutes. I'm gonna end it. Peep the T-Swifty merch. <sighs> yeah, I'm just laying here. I'm avoiding doing work. And I still don't wanna do my work because I am stressed out, but I'll probably get onto that. I think I'm gonna finish up my vlog that'll be out on Monday because I'll be busy all of Saturday and Sunday. I'll be tired and also like doing assignments that are due for that day and Monday. And then on, well, tomorrow I'll be busy at work or work is gonna be very busy. There's a lot of cakes to do. Um, I don't do much, but I got ice cream that's all melted now it's soup. I ate like half of it. Yeah, hey, peace.
So, I tried making some cookie dough truffles today because instead of a cake, turns out someone else is making a cake for Marina's birthday, and so um, I was told not to make a cake, but I was like, hmm, well, I'll make something still. So I tried making these cookie dough truffles, and um, I'm like, okay, the lighting's really poor, but like, they're kind of like extra ugly. This guy especially is extra ugly. Um, I, I just didn't want to melt. I have such issues with melting chocolate like wafers. Um, and I was too lazy to temper the chocolate, um, like real chocolate. So that looks extra ugly. Other than that, I have to go to work shortly. And so yeah, that's, and then tomorrow's the party, so. trying to find somewhere with like good lighting and I'm literally like the light is like right here and I'm here <laughs> but essentially I realized while I was editing this vlog that I never actually ended anything I kind of just said the party's tomorrow and that was it so I just wanted to touch base and let you guys know that all the stress that I was feeling that week um I don't even remember feeling the amount of stress that I did until I was editing the video and I was like, oh yeah, I felt that. So just know that like I feel much better. Um, it goes kind of like in waves of up and down. So I feel good again and then schoolwork happens or like something happens that ticks me and then I'm just like, mm, I don't feel so good anymore. Like I'm the type of person who physically feels very like, I can feel just like blood rushing to my face in like just like annoyance or i feel my body like actually crumble and shut down it's really weird um but yeah so i don't feel any of that right now i feel very relaxed actually which is good the boys I, i'm with the boys right now i'd show you but like it's kind of like all poopy over there and benji is making such a mess <laughs> But yeah, I feel great right now and I really appreciate you guys giving me an outlet to be able to talk about these things and just kind of share nothingness <laughs> and just be able to relax. Oh, an update on the cookie dough truffles. I actually ended up forgetting to take them. <laughs> um, and so they sat on my counter for like probably a week before I realized that they were there and I threw them out. So that's what happened with those, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of different, a lot more quiet, a lot more just random stuff. It's kind of like a good insight into my weeks. <laughs> it's just very random and what I do. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And if you hear noise, that's my neighbors. <laughs> so I'll see you guys next week. Bye.